Hello, everybody. So now we're going to go a little bit into science fiction. In this problem, it says that it is proposed that future space stations create an artificial gravity by rotating. So there will be kind of like a cylinder, a hollow cylinder, and I will be rotating. Uh, suppose a space station is constructed as a 1,000 meter diameter. So um, I guess that's the diameter of the whole thing. 1,000 meter. Um, it is a cylinder and it's rotating about its uh, axis. The inside surface is the deck of the space station. And I've seen movies like this, I don't remember which ones, but um, what rotation period will provide the same acceleration as the one due to gravity on Earth? And so I guess you should imagine, um, maybe to make it a little bit uh, more transparent, this is a section of it. And you will have Right, like a person maybe you know, walking over here or, you know, over here, it doesn't matter. So there's gonna be a, um, a normal, I guess that's what we feel, a normal in this direction towards the axis of rotation of the cylinder. So we're being asked to get the period. Of rotation. So how long should we take each? Um, how long should each rotation take? All right, so we are going to have the sum of forces. And this is going to be you know, towards the center. So it's the radial direction. So the sum of forces in the radial direction, you're just going to have the normal that is keeping you in place right towards the center. And that is equal to the mass times the ac radial acceleration. And of course, the radial acceleration is the centripetal acceleration. And the centripetal acceleration is V squared over R. But remember that the velocity, tangential velocity is R times omega, where omega is the um, angular frequency. So V squared is R squared omega squared. So we'll have R squared omega squared divided by R. We get rid of this R and this R. And so the centripetal acceleration is R omega squared. So that means that over here, the sum of forces is mass times the radius times the angular frequency squared. And so omega is um, two pi r divided by the period. Okay, so this is the distance right, that it's going through. And this is um, sorry, this is just too high. Yes, just fine, because this is in radians. 
So the radial um, distance divided by the time. Okay, so one rotation in, in time. So that is the definition of the period. So, the normal force, we want it to be equal to the weight. And so now we can cancel uh, the m's and we can get uh, omega squared over here. Omega squared is G divided by R. And if we take the square root, omega is the square root of G divided by R. So we have omega from Newton's second law, and we have omega from the definition. And so that means that two pi over T is equal to square root of G over R. And we want to solve for T for the period. So T is gonna be equal to square root of R divided by G times two pi. And this is two pi. And so we know the radius. So the diameter is 1,000 meters. It means that the radius is 500 meters. We know G. We want G to be the same as on Earth. So the acceleration due to gravity on Earth. And well, two pi is just a constant. So this will be 500 meters divided by 9.8 meters per second squared. Mm, so here we get the units are second squared meter divided by meter. So we get rid of the meters and we have seconds squared. And then we're gonna take the square root of that. So these units are in seconds as we want them to be. And so we just put the two pi over here and we can just plug in the numbers now. I guess do the calculation now. So 500 divided by 9.8 is 51. And then we take the square root of that 7.14, and then we multiply times two pi. And so we get that the period over here is uh, 44 point nine uh, seconds. So that was our unit. And that is the uh, answer that we were looking for. So if this rotates approximately every 45 seconds, once every 45 seconds, and the diameter is a thousand meters, then um, you will feel an acceleration around a normal force that is the same as on Earth. So, if the radius is larger, then the period will be longer. So you will have to rotate more slowly. And if it is smaller, then the period will be higher. Um, I mean smaller, and so the frequency will be higher. You'll have to be rotating more often. So yeah, I think this is kind of a cool problem. I hope you liked it. Thanks.